What is this? Have my eyes deceived me? Did I read the title of this video correctly? Yes, you did. <laughs> Am I excited to bring you this episode? So, you know, for a little while now, for a long while in fact, I've been looking for a smart genius with Minecraft servers and mods uh, to be able to get this world, get our city world, onto a server so we can all play together. And a few people have attempted in the past, a couple of people have attempted in the past, and they get so far and then they get stuck. A mod gets in the way and it's a mod that we really need, like for example the cars. We can't have a city, no, we can't have our city without cars, you know, it's a big part of our, our plan. And uh, this guy came along, a guy called Ryan, D Pod Dolphin. Uh, if you want to go and check him out, all the links to his stuff are in the description below. Um, his Twitter, his YouTube, he's building his own city uh, on his uh, YouTube channel. So if you can't get enough of my city and you want to get some more, and then go and check his out. He seems like a really cool guy. I mean, he's a genius at server stuff because, as you can see by the footage here, he got it working. So at the moment, we're in just a normally generated world, and he was just playing around. By the way, did you see that collateral shot on the pigs? I got two pigs with one bullet then. Anyway, he's just got a normal generated world, and he was just playing about with some files, I suppose, configs, I don't know what he does, <laughs> to get this working. And as you can see, we've got the train mod working, and he actually knows the, how to do the train mod really well, so he can probably rebuild our monorail station for us uh, in the city, because I suck at that, because the whole mod is in Japanese, and I can't understand like anything about it. But he can put down junctions and switches and all kinds of crazy stuff. As you saw, we've got the cars working. You saw me with the blue RX-7 there. You've seen me shoot some pigs, and now we're playing around with some rocket launchers, because, I mean, why not? We can do whatever we like. Uh, helicopters, everything. Uh, Ray's minimap in the top right-hand corner. I sort of take that minimap for granted, because I use it on basically every series, and I have done for every series for, like, four years. Um, but that's working on the server as well. I think in my settings, I've probably got it as other players turned off. I don't know if that this mod even picks up other players on the minimap. I never really thought of it until just now. Um, I'm sure it probably has a way of showing up entities. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do entities on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that because on the city world, I had to turn it off because when we first started it, there was like a million pigs and sheep and cows everywhere and the map was just full of dots. Uh, so yeah, there is a way. But this is it, look. As you can see, we're on the city world. I hit tab and there's two people. So uh, I didn't know where he was. Obviously, he set it up first, and he loaded the he downloaded the world like you can in the description below, and uh, he said it's ready to join. So I was like, "Yeah, cool." Uh, I join. I jump in an S two thousand, and I go for a little drive around. Uh, I try and find him, and uh, we shortly uh, realise that this city is absolutely massive, and you're trying to find a, another person in there. It's huge. So we eventually figured out where each other were, and I said, "I said." police chase i said i've never done a police i've always wanted to do a police chase on uh, on this city and never been able to because there's nobody ever been there so i was like you know who do you want to be the the, the, the cop or, or the bad guy or whatever and uh he decides to go for the cop which is uh, amazing now there were a few sort of instability issues we had a couple of crashes both on his side and on my side um just like the uh the minecraft application not the server or anything like that uh, it was just our Minecraft's crashed. I don't know if it's a, a mod or he was doing some tweaks. He was doing something to fix it. In the end, it, we got it so it didn't really ever happen. I don't think. Um, this is quite funny. I've always just jumped in the cars in creative where you don't need fuel. Um, but in survival, because we thought we'd do it in survival so we could like shoot each other and stuff. Um, you need to put fuel in the vehicles. And I totally forgot how to do that. And so did he. And we're both there trying to get in and out of cars. I even try and put it in the fuel cap on the pixelated car image. <laughs> And then I find it, you press R, if any of you are interested, you press R, and it opens up, like, the car's inventory, and that got it working. You also put, like, ammo in this, an inventory inside the car, and stuff like that. Really quite cool. There's actually a lot of in-depth stuff going on there. Uh, I've got so much to say, I don't even know where to start. Like, this was, this was just awesome. I just chilled with him for, like, uh, an hour or two, basically, uh, just on this world. Just doing, as you'll see through the video, just doing a bunch of different stuff flying helicopters and 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 racing around the racetrack i've got some footage of that we weren't talking like in a skype call or anything like that we were um just chatting in minecraft there um but uh, i didn't do any sort of live recording of it because there was no no reason it was just me i thought it'd just be funny to explain what we're doing uh afterwards but look at this 
I'm driving along the motorway on the bridge, and I have a policeman chasing me. Now, also, let's before I get too ahead of myself, before you guys get too excited, this isn't open for you guys yet, okay? Um, it won't be until the city's finished. As you can even see, when, when I'm driving around, you might see some things or some plots um, that we've now filled. It's because this is the current world download uh, that you guys have available. If you want to download it, he just downloaded that one. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, the school hasn't had its expansion or, or anything like that. Uh, the high school with the little five sides or the subway entrance that we built recently. Uh, here's me getting lost on the way to the airport. He got lost as well, so I didn't feel too bad. <laughs> but I eventually found the road. It's, it's like, oh, it's really quite mazy the roads are there. I got, I got up there eventually. We got to the airport. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's not available for, for you guys to, to play on. He needs to figure out some more stuff. I don't want the world to be multiplayer for everybody until the world is finished. Uh, I don't want to have big grass areas of blankness and, and, and half built things and stuff like that. I want it to be ready for you guys just to jump on and play. It won't be though as simple as loading up your Minecraft, obviously on your PC. You won't if if you guys ask for it to work on Xbox and stuff, then you're insane. It'll never work. They they they, they don't do that sort of stuff, okay? It'll be on PC only. Uh not on mobile or anything like that. You could probably you're more than welcome to probably download the city world um, that we've got as a download link and and put it onto your own mobile server if you wanted to. You can get some mods on mobile, kind of. You can get some vehicle mods and stuff, so that could work really well. Um, I don't play mobile Minecraft myself. Uh, my thumbs are too fat for mobile games. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys can do that. You guys can download the world and download some car mods and play as much as you like on that. Uh, it'll be on PC. However, you will have to have obviously the mods installed on your computer uh, to be able to join us on the server for example you would need the car mod you need like the flans mod for the vehicles and the weapons um i think you'd basically need every mod that the server has running on your computer so i think you'd even need to have like the the minimap mod because the server's got the minimap mod and if you don't have it it's sort of ruin it but there's ways that i think i can get around that even if i just put my files my mod files um public for you to download you download them you put them into your minecraft file and it should be not quite as simple as that but almost as simple as that it's close to the time when the server is actually sort of getting set up and we're we're releasing the server uh then maybe i'll put out like a tutorial on how to install the mods in order for you guys to come and play it won't be complicated i will make sure that the tutorial is 100 percent simple as like no problems at all and you guys won't have any issues you'll be able to follow the instructions in the video and just be able to join the server but yeah oh look at this i'm coming in for a landing look at this landing hey uh, i'm terrible at flying planes but and that's a little bit of an urgent corner but look at this hey coming down and touchdown oh beautiful <laughs> what a flat landing i don't know what i've i've been chatting away i haven't actually been watching the uh the footage myself um i think i was just playing on the plane here's uh me as a passenger in the car so it just shows that you know the cars work flawlessly to drive and for someone else to drive apart from he was i'm not joking you he's a maniac of a driver He's a maniac. He was crashing into all sorts. In fact, I think he actually he hit this wall so hard, it actually broke blocks. Like, I didn't know that you could break blocks by driving these cars. But obviously, he hit them so hard, they just he just broke them. I would go for a, a race <laughs> around the track. I was just trying to think of all the things that I've wanted to do on the server, but haven't been able to. Oh, we go around the track. Look at that. I go a little cut on the apex there. But bang, he comes shooting up the inside. He goes wide around the tire. He hits the right-hand corner, takes too much speed through the chicane, and crashes over the barrier. I was laughing so hard. Now, I don't know if actually he 100% crashed or not, because when I'd done the other laps, his car was sort of going around sideways. So it might be a little bit of server lag. I don't know what was going on, but it looked hilarious from my end. And then I thought, ah, I said, follow me, follow me. And I thought the perfect spot for this would be Grove Street. Obviously, it's from... Uh, a little replica from GTA San Andreas and I gave him a pistol and some ammo 
And we aimed him up, and I, he knew instantly, as soon as they threw the gun and the ammo at him, he was like, yeah, I know exactly what's going on. Uh, I need to do the interiors to these houses because this part is perfect for like a, a little shootout area like like a little um i don't know like call of duty map style thing it's sort of like a, a nuke town style you know grove street slash nuke town uh, so doing the interiors to these buildings would be really important um he killed me he he, he got the best of me that time uh but we done it again i wasn't gonna give up uh, i was like Let, let's go for round two <laughs> but yeah if we had little interiors with some like little couches and little floors in there that'd be really cool i really like having the cars that we've got like these sort of um like a little bit of a tuned up but cheap car there's a big old four by four over there the cars really suit this is really a fun part of the map um with all, all the little overgrown areas and stuff it's really tight close quarter corridors and stuff around the backs of the houses perfect like if they made this if they made grove street into a call of duty like dlc map it would be the most popular map ever because you got like wait and i got him hey got revenge uh you got the big open area in the middle there for um i don't know running across and sprinting and i don't know and then around the backs you got like shotgun areas it'd be really quite a balanced map i feel and then i just thought i would uh shoot him with a sniper because i found it funny it was a no scope which made it hilarious and in the bottom right hand corner can you see that that we've got see what an early gaming and it sh says it like killed uh p dot p pod dol d pod dolphin wow messed that up sorry buddy <laughs> and it shows the gun that you even killed him with which is really cool i've never seen that before because i've never actually killed anybody on the map uh, but yeah it actually tells you like who killed who and with what gun which is epic i think that's really cool uh, i crashed into the building and he mocked me for my um for my fly i was a little offended by that <laughs> so then i was uh, i was determined i was determined that i was gonna land properly and i did I landed absolutely perfectly. Look, hey, on top, lined it all up. I went into hover mode. I was concentrating so much. I had my tongue hanging out of my mouth. And beautiful. And down she went. All right. Anyway, guys, uh, there's a little clip at the end. Oh, yeah. And then the rockets. Oh, yeah, check this out. So he's shooting the rockets out of the helicopter. And then he can control the rockets. He can fly the rockets himself where he wants to go. I didn't know you could do that. I had no idea. But apparently you can. Uh, and then I jump out off the roof with a parachute. And surprisingly it worked like really well. I was like really cool that we can now base jump off the skyscrapers in our world. Sick. Um, but yeah. I'm super stoked. Uh, it's the first big step in making the dream. The original dream of having this world on a server a reality. Now I know we've got custom NPCs. So we can obviously make shopkeepers and... Uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, the server will probably open up as just like a free roam, uh, drive some cars, almost like a creative, mo creative mode thing going on, so you can just grab what cars you want and what planes you want and fly them around and drive them around. Eventually, we might be able to do something where you have to earn a currency, um, and then you can buy vehicles, you can buy helicopters, you can buy weapons and, and food and stuff like that, and make it more of a role play GTA style server. But that's very future plans, you know, that's not something that we can really think too much about now, especially soon as though this world is on 1.7.10, uh, which is a old, very old client now. Obviously, we use that because that's what all of these mods are made for, all the car mods and stuff are made for 1.7.10. There are some mods, or some of them might work with newer versions. But um, I don't know what he can do, what our genius um, Ryan can do with um, like like currency and all that kind of stuff. Because you need newer versions of Minecraft for it. But anyway guys, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye! How, how excited am I?